more lined up. Um, the, the, the main one I'm writing now is called The Seeker's Path, which is essentially just another kind of story for me. It was like, like a, trying to, to use that cliche, find myself sort of thing. There was just a lot of sort of existential questions that I was still struggling with um, that I wanted to um, study, research, and try to, you know, kind of put all that research in line with where I was and who I was and, you know, what made sense to me and what didn't make sense to me. Um, another aspect of that was a dream diary that I would love to, that I will release as an ebook because it was um, really interesting to, um, to research dreams and dreams and interpret dreams. Um, they can give you some amazing insights into your subconscious mind and, you know, had some pretty scary weeks there, to be quite honest with you. I got really far deep into it and um, I reckon I sent myself crazy for a month or two there. It was just, it was just, yeah, it was, it was, it was good fun. <laughs> and, um, and one of the, a, a series of dreams sparked the incentive to write my fourth book, which is a bit of a fiction book. So I'm looking forward to um, polishing off the ebook, releasing this second book called The Seeker's Path, which is, I think it's quite valuable. You know, it's, it's not like my first book. The first book's just my, my story with some ideas and insights. But this, this second book is, you know, maybe five, ten percent anecdote and 80, 90 percent, if that doesn't make any sense, 90 to 95 percent sort of, uh, how good's my maths? No wonder I'm a writer. <laughs> it's up there, eh? Yeah, there, somewhere around that, yeah. Um, yeah. Offering value and, and ideas about um, comparative religion, um, spiritual aspects of mythology, um, the path of the individual, um, what we're desiring, you know, uncomfortable concepts, things like that. So. Yeah, looking forward to getting that one out. Hopefully that one will be out towards the end of this year. Mm, awesome, man. That sounds, uh, that sounds very interesting, yeah, as well. Yeah. You're obviously enjoying the writing process too. It's good, mate. It gets you out of bed. It's, 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 a, it's, a, long, it's a long haul, and, um, but it's, um, it's good. It's that, it's that postponed gratification idea, which is obviously the, um, the, the neuroscience, I guess, behind um, what you're interested in. You know, it's, it's we want to try to move ourselves away from that instant gratification. And, you know, the more you, the more you fight for a slog that's, that's meaningful in its pursuits and, and worthwhile um, and intrinsic to who you are as an individual, um, it's going to make more sense and it's going to feel like you're actually making use of your time that you do have here, as opposed to chucking up a photo, which is something that we all do, and um, hopefully that we get 50,000 likes, and if we don't, then we'll take it back down. <laughs> Have you taken photos back down before? No, I've never done that. I've never done that. <laughs> but I did hear a story. Um, when we were living in Bali, I heard a story about this bloke. Was, he runs um, sort of lifestyle retreats with his missus. And one of the ladies that came on the retreat with him was that sort of individual. She would upload a photo. And if it, uh, if it hadn't had 200 likes within the hour, she'd have to take it down. Which is to, you know, do you know what's interesting, mate? Like, I thought that was the extreme of, of the social media influencer lifestyle, um, but that's kind of somewhere in between. So there are extremes um, to all sides of the spectrum, and people say that social media isn't, um, isn't as bad as people think it is, but there also are extremes that seem to probably change your, little, your opinion on that one as well, because it's such a productive tool, but you gotta be responsible with it. Oh, definitely, and I think, um like I've made some amazing relationships over social media. Like you and I, mate. We've never even met. Social media. <laughs> um, I did a podcast, or I've got one coming out in a week or two with a dude that I classify as my mate. Yeah. That I've only ever met on the internet. Um, exactly. So it's like it's a it's a force for good. But I've been I've been listening to a bit of Gary V lately. Um, just in regards to kind of content and, and thinking about that. And I mean, he, his thing is that social media, it exposes us and mm. it kind of uh, brings to the fore the characteristics that we have mm. inherently. And if there's something there that it is exposing us towards, then, hey, maybe that's a great way to identify this is something that I need to be working on myself that, hey, I've got some insecurity around uh, people liking me if uh, yeah some of my posts gets like seven likes <laughs> <laughs> mate seven maybe people out there like it to 